Hey Richard, this is Josh from Josh and Danny SEO and just shooting you over that video about how you can how you can increase your online presence. So just taking a look at your website, you got a really nice uh, logo here, you got a nice header. This for some reason sends you to your contact page instead of it actually being a click to call. It is super important for it to be a click to call just because the quicker you get them on the phone call, the better it is because people are lazy. It's the unfortunate truth. Um, I know you have it down here, which is awesome. We can just put it up here as well. And then going through your website, what you're all about, the different services you provide, as well as 40% off um, to help people with the new year, which is awesome. And then you hit the bottom. Now, I'm not seeing a ton of content. Um, what Google is looking for nowadays is about 1,500 to 2,000 words throughout your site or throughout your homepage. Um, the reason for that being is so that you can organically put keywords throughout your site. Now, what a keyword is, is a buyer intent word that someone's putting into Google in order to find your specific service. But before we get into that, let's check behind the scenes and see what's going on with your website. So we put in your URL and out pops your ranking. So you have a UR rating of 20 and a DR rating of 1.5. Now, ideally, well, what the UR rating is, is the strength of your website. And what the DR is, DR rating is the trust of your website. Sorry, that would make no sense if I didn't explain that. Um, the trust and, or the trust and the strength. So ideally, we want both these numbers be, to be between 30 and 40 with a ratio of one to one. That's what we call the golden ratio. Now, you're doing a pretty good job even with, because as you can see, you have a lot of backlinks, 695. Now, what a backlink is, is any link from another website that leads back to yours. However, not all backlinks are created equal. For example, a backlink from Wikipedia would be an awful link to have because Wikipedia is a spammy site. However, a backlink from a distinguished flooring blog would be awesome because that is relevant to your service. Now, another important thing, as I was saying, were those organic keywords. What buyer intent words are you ranking for or is Google ranking you for? So let's check them out. So RW Flooring, Norton Flooring, which has 100 volume, you're in the front page, so you're getting six traffic from that. Um, and then going through, most of these others aren't by your intent. They're just nice carpet. Someone can just put that into Google anywhere, and it's not really going to bring anything up. So most of the keywords you have aren't for Norton, aren't for your area. So this one is, as you can see, but you're on the eighth page. So a lot of work could be done there. However, you are appearing well in Norton. I'm going to be honest, just because there's not much in Norton. Uh, there's only 19,000 people in all of Norton, or give or take a couple hundred. Uh, there's about 19,000 people. So yeah, you're going to appear nicely on the top. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to compare you to Boston. I know that's a little bit away, but just to show you the concept. So if we put in flooring Boston, first thing that pops up is your GMB. Now, what the GMB is, is the Google... Whew, sorry, got a little brain fart there. Uh, the GMB is super important to get on because 30 to 40% of all people will stop right here and pick one of these three people. Reason being, that's just the easiest thing to do. Doesn't mean they're the best, just means that they rank themselves the best and people will choose them for that. Then we hit your organic rankings. This is by strength of website. So you're gonna have your generic, like the house, Yelp, Angie, and then you're gonna hit Boston Wood Floor Supply Inc. That's gonna be the top competitor as far as Boston is concerned. So let's take a look at their website. They got a nice logo. They don't have any click to calls, which is unfortunate. Um, everyone has something they can work on. Then they go through, they have their drop downs, they have what they're all about, what flooring they do, and that's it. So they don't have a terrible amount either. So let's check behind the scenes and see why they're number one in Boston. First up, they got a nice UR and DR. Not as high, but their strength is 22 and their trust is 3.7. Can be higher. However, what they're doing well is their backlinks. They do have 368, but it's quality over quantity. So their 368 are pretty strong. And they're ranking for a lot of keywords. So let's check out what their keywords are. 
um, Boston Wood, bonus stain, Boston Floor, 300 people. First real position, 43 people from that. Boston Flooring, 300 people a month, search that. First real position, 41. Boston Hardwood Floor, 250. Uh, first real position, 37 people from that. And just keep going down the line. So all of their keyword or their main keywords are focused uh, for their area, for the specific buyer intent word that someone's putting in in Boston. So that's why they're getting all the people coming to their site because they're ranking well for specific words. So I know you have Norton locked down, but if we're looking to expand, go into the surrounding areas. I know um, Adel, Adelbrock, I, sorry, the names are a little, uh, Adelboro and Brockton, put them together, Adelboro and Brockton. Um, what you need to do is of course, increase backlinks um, always, or keep increasing backlinks. It's always good to add on more. I know you have a lot, um, but it is quality over quantity. Um, so adding stronger backlinks, which good idea to take theirs because you know, they're working if they're ranking for a top city like Boston. And then you got to add content, 1500, 2000 words throughout your homepage and then throughout your other various uh, back pages so that you can organically put buyer intent words throughout your site to rank for all the areas that you service. You do that, you just start getting more people through your site and more calls through your website. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach back out to me. If you can leave some feedback, that would be awesome. You have a nice rest of your day.